At this time, I would like to recognize the 2019-2020 Castleberry Lion Boys basketball teams. First, I want to thank Coach Story and Coach Taylor for all their time and dedication to our program. Our program is lucky to have you, and I greatly appreciate everything that you do. Next, I would like to recognize the members of our sub-varsity teams on their outstanding seasons this year. It was a joy watching you grow as players. Remember, you are the future of our program, and it's now your turn to carry on the tradition set before you. I would also like to thank our student trainers and our video technician for all their hard work and dedication to the basketball program. Now let's recognize this year's varsity team members. Our underclassmen this year were Gaston Ortega and Jameer Reed. Our seniors this year were Jason Garcia, Derek Busby, Ivan Belize, Christian Lamone, Matt Guyana, and Isaac Medina. Please help me in congratulating the following players on their postseason awards. First is Matt Guyana. He was named the District 9 for a Bobby Miller Character Award representative for Castleberry High School. Gaston Ortega was named District 9 for a second team all district. Christian Lamone was named District 9 for a first team all district and was also selected to the Texas Association of Basketball Coaches all region team. The final five awards are based on which player exhibited the greatest contribution to our team in each category. First is our Lion Pride Award. It's given to the student athlete who has contributed the most in team performance, spirit, effort, and character. This year's recipient of the Lion Pride Award is Mr. Isaac Medina. Congratulations, Isaac. Next is our Most Improved Award, given to the student athlete that shows the greatest improvement from day one to the end of the season. This year's recipient of the Most Improved Award goes to Mr. Ivan Belize. Congratulations, Ivan. Defensive Player of the Year, given to the student athlete that has a willingness and dedication to sacrifice himself for the team. He will be added to the CHS Basketball Record Board for the most blocked shots in a season with 58 on the year. This year's Defensive Player of the Year goes to Matt Guyana. Our Offensive Player of the Year, will be added to the basketball record board for breaking the 11 year old school record for the most consecutive free throws made in a single game by making 11 against Benbrook this season. He will also be added to the record board as the number 15th ranked score in school history with 1,067 points over the past three seasons. He has also been selected as our team's most valuable player this year. The strides this young man has made over the past three seasons has been remarkable. It's a true reflection of his attitude, work ethic, and desire to be successful. This year's Offensive Player of the Year and Most Valuable Player is Mr. Christian Lamone. Congratulations, Christian. I believe I speak for all the coaches when I say it was a pleasure working with each of these young men on a daily basis. To my seniors, I thank you for all of your time and effort you've put into our program. Thank you for continuing to build a tradition for those behind you to follow and live up to. We wish you the best in your future endeavors. Please make the most out of your life and always strive to be the best you can be. Congratulations again to the 2019-20 Castleberry Lion Boys basketball team. Hello, uh, I'd like to thank everybody, first of all, that had, a, uh, that had a part in this baseball season, including all the assistant coaches and uh, all the players that did an outstanding job for us in this shortened season. Um, it wasn't exactly what we expected it was going to be, but uh, sometimes I guess you can say God has different plans. Considering the fact that you guys went 6-3-1 um, in the nine games, that, or the ten games that we got to play, was a testament to the way that you showed up and worked every single day. Um, the improvements that you made every single day. Uh, with the district that we were in, we, I kind of stacked these tournaments on purpose, and you guys came out there and did an outstanding job all the way through them. Uh, this was a group that, that got along as well as any group that I've ever coached. You came out here every day and you laughed and you made it exciting to come to the ballpark, and I think that's a, a lot of the reasons that, that we did what we did in this shortened season. Um, I'm going to recap a couple of the tournaments real quick since we didn't get any district games in. Uh, the first one that we were in was the Everman Benbrook tournament. Uh, we opened the season playing Mineral Wells and beat them seven to two. Uh, then we played a five, five eight team in Mansfield, uh, which we knew very little about. And you guys came out and beat them eight to four. And at that point right then, I knew that we were probably gonna be able to do something kind of unique. Um, we followed that with 
a big win for me only because it was my 100th win and Cole Lopez, you're the one that got it for me. Uh, we beat Polly. can't remember the score, but uh, it, it, was a, it was a good win and you're probably going to be in most of my conversation pieces when I'm talking to people about a 100th win, so Cole, get ready for that. Then we wound up going to an Irving tournament where I wasn't sure what to think because it was a 6-8 a tournament. We opened with Nama Forest and beat them 4-3 to three in a close game. I think we bunted like five times in a row in the sixth inning to wind up sneaking that one out. And then we played Irving Nimitz. And as a team, you guys all know how bad I wanted that win. And Jose Ortiz kind of came up and said, Coach, if you give me the ball, in this game, I, I will get us the win. And so I did, and for about seven innings, you kind of just shoved it down Nimitz's throat, and that was probably one of the, the most lopsided wins we had, beat him 11-2. to two. And then the last game we played, Lorena, who went three or four rounds uh, in the playoffs last year, and had a tire there one to one. Um, that was the next to last game that we were going to be able to play, which was an unfortunate thing. All right, I'm gonna talk about a few of the players. Isaac, Isaac Saraceras behind the plate. Outstanding job all year long. Um, I can't wait to see what you can do as a senior. I knew that you were going to be consistent behind the plate. You're consistent at the plate. Two, three, four hole, didn't matter where you hit, where, where we hit you. As coaches, you always did the job that we asked. Vega, as a senior, first base, you kind of waited your turn. Um, you always had a senior in front of you. And then when it became your turn, you went out there and you made the, the, the plays at first base. You were the only guy that we had from the left side, so we were going to hit you in the middle of the lineup, and you were always very consistent up there. You, you, you had a really sweet swing from the left side. Peanut, you, uh, I didn't know where to play you. I had no idea where to put you. You were an outfielder. You were an infielder. Um, we needed second base, and I know you wanted the infield. It was a matter of whether or not you could take it. And after your first game, from then on, you sort of went out and just secured second base. And I can't wait, considering you being a sophomore, what you're going to be able to do in the next couple of years. Um, Jimmy, and there's a couple others on here too that are seniors. I probably feel the worst for you. Um, I, I was looking forward, and I know the coaches too, were looking forward to seeing what you could do your senior year. Um, I've been doing this 18 years, and you, you probably have one of the best set of hands I've ever coached. You, you were going to make the majority of the plays at shortstop, on the mound, you were consistent at the box. I, I think in your junior and senior year, you might have struck out three times in two years. We always knew that you were going to find a way on base, and whatever it is that you choose to do, baseball needs to be a part of that um, because you're one heck of a ball player. Gabe Romero, you kind of found a way to step up this year as well at third base. Um, luckily, you're coming back for another couple years as well, and I'm excited to see what you can do. You, you kept coming more to the ballpark this year than you had in the past, and you, you've got a great future coming up. Jose Ortiz, shortstop or pitcher, whatever it was, you're, you're one of the more confident kids I've ever had around, uh, ever been around, and I know that you're going to take the offseason this year and continue to get better. Um, on the mound, you're, you're just one of those guys who's ready to go every single night. At the, at the plate, you're ready to go, you're focused, and I'm excited to see what you're going to bring to the table your senior year as well. Outfielders, we got a couple of them. Felipe Soto, I think you worked harder this offseason than any kid that I've had, and you found a way to find a way to start, whether it was at first base here and there, second base here and there, the outfield here and there. Um, and we've been hitching in the middle of the lineup, and he did an outstanding job for us, so I'm ready to see what you can do next year also. Cole Lopez, another senior that I'm sorry to see go. Um, you, I, I think the ball drill that we implemented as a coaching staff for, for pitchers helped you more than anybody else. Um, and I was so excited to see what you can do on the mound. Um, your, your curveball was looking great. Your fastball had more pop on it. Um, in the outfield, you kind of took over center field when we were very unsure of what it was that we were going to do in center field. And you're just one of those kids that every coach loves to have. Um, and I wish I had you for one more year. Um, the other positions, uh, Aiden. You were one that didn't get a play his junior year, and then you came out your senior year, and it looked like you didn't even really miss a beat. If you were going to come in off the bench, you were ready to hit. If you were going to start that game, you were ready to play. Um, so it was a pleasure having you back. And then AJ, um, I think I've had three freshmen start my entire 18-year career, and you came in and kind of fit right in with the with some juniors and seniors, and kind of 
said you were going to be one of the players that started. So it was definitely something that was earned, and I'm excited to see what you bring to the table for the next three years, considering you were a freshman. Um, outside of that, once again, I'd just like to thank all the coaches. Uh, you did an outstanding job in the short season that we had. Um, and as for all the players, the ones that are coming back, maybe this year uh, we'll actually get to wear the baby blue uniforms at home, and I'll get to see what they look like. As for the seniors, I know that you're going to do great things, and if you ever need anything or you know have something to, to ask, don't hesitate to call, and good luck with everything that you do. Thank you. Coach Story, the head tennis coach. Uh, we had a lot of participation this year. We had 60 kids try out, uh, so we had uh, enough to make a full JV and varsity team on the guys and girls side. Uh, this is by far the best year we've had, uh, with three less tournaments. We, always, we already had more wins than all of last year in matches and medals. Uh, some individual awards, we had one uh, group of boys make or win a tournament. That was Alejandro Ramirez and Matthew Saucedo. Uh, they won a, a Springtown tournament. Uh, we had every other varsity player uh, either get silver or bronze in a, a tournament. Uh, those that lettered include Chris Saucedo, Matthew Saucedo, Xavier Benitez, Arnaldo Caraveo, Alejandro Ramirez, Matthew Turan, and George Oviedo. Um, the MVP for this season uh, was Chris Salcedo, who is one of our seniors. Um, he's a great teammate that just teaches and encourages others around him. He always has a great attitude and a smile on his face. Um, he's going to be uh, dearly missed. Uh, we're going to have uh, probably four or five seniors leave us, uh, which presents an opportunity for a bunch of younger kids to come up and uh, play on the varsity level next year. Um, so I hope you all continue to, to love all uh, the opportunities you have and the abilities you have uh, to play tennis. Continue to love all those people you interact with um, and just love all. Uh, sorry every day, love all, just to have a chance to make it a great day. Hello, Castleberry Lions. Josh Wardlow, head boys powerlifting coach at Castleberry High School. I'd like to give recognition to boys powerlifting team. Uh, these young men woke up on the clock, 6.30 in the morning, weights were moving. I appreciate them coming in. We had 42 guys show up. It was the max number. We averaged 33 guys in morning workouts. Um, these young men came to school, prepared, worked out, and then set out through their day. Most of these guys were competed in all other sports as well, so we'd like to give some recognition to them. We had 14 competitors compete this year in the powerlifting meets. Of those 14, we had nine lettermen, and eight, nine, eight of those nine lettermen were regional qualifiers. I'd like to give some recognition to those guys that were the lettermen. Josue Arayenas, Ethan Barbosa, Saul Basan, Jose Lucerio, Dylan Martinez, Adrian Perez, Brendan Ramos, Charles Sanders, Dylan Cortez. Those were our lettermen this year for boys powerlifting. We had eight of those were regional qualifiers. Ethan Barbosa, Saul Bassan, Jose Lucerio, Dylan Martinez, Adrian Perez, Brendan Ramos, Charles Sanders, and Dylan Cortez. Uh, again, these young men woke up early in the morning, competed for three months, did an excellent job for us while most of them competed in multi sports. Uh, the future looks bright. I uh, wish you guys the best. And if there's anything we can do for you, let us know. We love you. Have a great year. Uh, hello, my name is Paul Smith, head soccer coach here at Castleberry. I want to start off by recognizing uh, Coach McDougal and our JV team on the success that they had this year. I uh, didn't pick up too many wins as we would have liked, but. Um, Overall, it was a success. They, they grew as players and they developed within our system. Um, our varsity uh, had a very successful year, though. We picked up uh, 19 wins, which is the most in school history, despite having a shortened season. Uh, we ended the season as district champs. Uh, I'd like to take this time to honor all of the players uh, that lettered uh, and got uh, all district awards. Uh, first is uh, Donovan Delgado, who's first team all district. Uh, Kevin Aguilar Luan lettered for the first time. Luis Bayar was first team all district. Hector Reyes lettered. Fabian Chavez uh, was second team all district. 
Esteban Mercado is Offensive Player of the Year for our district, uh, as well as First Team All District. Uh, Diego Torres, our freshman, was named the First Team All District. Uh, Diego Rivera, First Team All District. Jonathan Medina, First Team All District. Angel Rosas, First Team All District. Uh, and Angel also got uh, TASCO Academic All-State and THSCA Second Team Academic All-State. Uh, Luis Gutierrez named Second Team All-District. Jesse Salas, First Team All-District. Cesar Garcia uh, was named THSCA Honorable Mention Academic All-State. Uh, and Daniel Carmona, Second Team All-District. Congrats on a great season, guys. Hello, Coach Silva here to talk about the Casper track team for the 2020 season. Casper High School track team this year had a very successful year on average. We averaged about 60 young men running every day after school. Uh, this afforded us the opportunity to have two uh, full teams of a JV and a varsity, thus allowing about 40 student, about 40 athletes to compete in our weekly meets. We were able to compete in four track meets this year before we were canceled due to the COVID uh, 2019, uh, which were the Mineral Wells track meet, the Lion Relays here hosted at Castleberry, our Alvarado meet, and our Bridgeport meet. Uh, we were looking forward to a very successful season before we got cut short. Uh, we finished in the top four as a team in all four meets on the varsity level. Uh, we placed first place at the Mineral Wells in the 4x200 with the team of Elijah West, Lonnie Adams, Luis Behar, and Esteban Mercado. Uh, along with several other events, including the 3200, the 1600, and the 200. Uh, during the line relays, we had our distance medley team that qualified for the Texas relays, and that team was Alejandro Ramirez, Blaze Lasher, uh, Fabian Chavez, and Chaston Burks. Unfortunately, this meet was canceled due to the 2000, uh, COVID 2019, so they weren't able to go to the Texas meets. Uh, as well as our district track meet, uh, area track meet, and regional track meets were all um, canceled. We were looking forward to a good showing. I think we could have competed for uh, first or second at the district track meet, as well as I think we would have had several of our athletes get out and go to our uh, area and regional meets um, that would have been coming up. Uh, our JV team had a very successful season as well. We had several of our JV athletes that won some events. Uh, we had uh, high jump, triple jump, that uh, one of our athletes finished both uh, first place in both those events at a couple of meets. Uh, we also had Diego Rivera who was uh, finished first place in our Lion Relays in the triple jump. Uh, was doing very well. We were looking forward to having an opportunity for that. Um, overall, I believe that the season, if we would have continued, would have been very successful. Like I said, at the district meets, uh, area meets, and also regional meets. At this point in time, I'd like to recognize our athletes that we lettered in varsity track this year. Uh, though we didn't get to finish the season, but these students, we feel, or these athletes, we feel like would have lettered if we would have completed the season. Lonnie Adams, junior, first year letterman in track. Uh, Ethan Barbosa got a letterman, first year in track. Luis Behar, first year in track. Chaston Burks, his second year in varsity track. Humberto Castaneda was first year in track. Susan, Cesar Gutierrez is also a second year letterman in track. Blaze Lasher, first year letterman in track. Jonathan Medina, first year letterman in track. Esteban Mercado, first year letterman in track. Uh, Alejandro Ramirez, first year letterman in track. Uh, Brendan Ramos, first year letterman in track. Uh, Jackson Reed, second year letterman in track. Diego Rivera, second year letterman in track. Uh, Charles Sanders, second year letterman in track. Chris Saucedo, first year letterman in track. Bradley Sugg, first year letterman in track. Jesus Torres, first year letterman in track and Elijah West in his third year lettering in track. I wish these guys the best of luck. I hope our JV teams realize how important track becomes to not only track, but all of our other sports, and we continue to build our track program to be a successful athletic program here at Castleberry High School. I would also like to thank our trainers, 
uh, our staff of athletic student trainers for coming out and helping us at track meets as well as all of our other events that they helped us in. All the other coaches that you've seen here today uh, didn't get an opportunity to mention them, so I'm going to mention just a little bit about them as well as our administration and our staff uh, here on campus, our athletic director, Mr. Lasher, and executive director of student services, as well as our two ladies in the front office, Jen and Pam, the athletic secretaries that do a ton of work for us. We want to thank you ladies, as well as um, the administration in the building, administration and upper admin. We appreciate all you guys and what you do for Castleberry Athletics. Thank you. Hello, my name is Taylor Ogden, and I'm here to talk about the athletic training program. Uh, first, I want to thank all of my students who have decided they wanted to join athletic training over the years, whether it's your first year, your second year, or unfortunately, it's your last year because you are graduating. So, all I want to say is thank you so much for your hard work, everything that you put into this program. Um, it is not easy showing up early, staying late. Um, it is like a full-time job that unfortunately you do not get paid for. So, again, thank you everything for you guys have done for us. And to my seniors, um, farewell. I hope you do great in life. Keep up the hard work and the success that you have already started. Um, please continue the hard work that you have shown me over the years um, into your next step, into your next chapter. I uh, want to highlight um, everyone who lettered this year, whether it is your first year or your second year, and I have one who this is her third year to letter. Um, so I'm going to start in alphabetical order for those who have lettered. Leslie Alvarez, your two-year letterman. Alejandra Armanderas, first-year letterman. Cindy Arlano, it's your first year to letter. Otto Camacho, two-year letterman. Vivi Campos, two-year letterman. Melissa Gutierrez, third-year letterman. Alexis Hernandez, first-year letterman. Chloe Ivey, first-year letterman. Timothy Hosso, first-year letterman. Valeska Lopez, first-year letterman. Katie Massey, first-year letterman. Brandon Ramirez, first-year letterman. Julian Ramirez, two-year letterman. Brianna Salazar, first-year letterman. Gina Tavuya, two-year letterman. And that was it. Thank you guys so much, and good luck in the future.